Hey, welcome back guys. Okay, so let's add a few buttons here so we can begin to do some stuff. So the first button obviously is going to be the add, add row, right? Uh, maybe we can say add image or add row. I, I'm not really sure. So let's go back to our, we can close the slider now. We don't need it for now. What we do need is the settings.php page. There is this one button here, submit button right there. I'm going to copy that button and I'm going to add it to here before, excuse me, before the end of the, before the end if, there we go, pull right. So let me refresh and I can see the button there, but that's not what I want the button to have. So instead of save settings, we're going to say add, add row okay so we want to add one row here now we're going to use get variables here because even though we have these clean urls here remember that we can actually use query strings at the very end like uh, for get variables so still allowed and we're going to change this button to a just a button not submit because we don't want it to submit to anything we want it to link to something instead so let's put an href here like so and let me come back here and put the closing href at the bottom like so put the tab key and let's create something here i want to put the root for the link so what link do we want to give it? Well, the thing is, we want to give it exactly this link we have here, except that I want a query string at the end telling me that the action is to add. So the link source so far is admin slash settings, right? Slash slider images. And then what else? Mm. At the very end here, we're going to have a question mark we don't need the slash like so just the question mark is enough so question mark and then we say action is equal to add just like that and uh, we are good to go so let me refresh and there's add row so if i click add row i'm back here but i have action is equal to add in the query string so if that is true then all i need to do is go to the admin section here down to this settings where is this settings uh, function and then right in uh, let's see if type is go to socials there we are that's where we go but let's do an else if here else if so instead of socials we'll have slider images underscore images like so okay so if it's like that or else if it's like that then we do something else so at this point what i want is to supply something inside data and that is the uh what's this let me put an if statement first. So I'm going to say if is set. Okay. If the get variable action is set. Like so. And it's equal to add. Copy that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Copy. Okay. So if it's equal to add then we are adding let me do that okay mm -hmm. okay so here i'll say action now i don't want to be able to 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 be asking every time whether action is set or not so what i will do is set it to something with a default value at the beginning here, I'm just going to say action be equal to, um, I don't know, maybe show or display. 
I don't know. Then here, I'm going to say action is equal to add, right? Okay, so if that's true, then we can put another else statement here and say else, and then put another if statement because we're going to have add, and then we're going to have edit, and then we're going to have delete, of course. So I'll put another if statement here and put another else and another if statement and close that. Okay, so action is add, action is edit, or action is delete. Okay. So once we have, uh, but for delete, we have to confirm before we delete completely. So we need one more here, else if, which is going to say delete confirmed. So delete confirmed like so. Okay. So once the delete is confirmed, we will come here. If we are asking whether to delete or not, we'll be here. If we want to edit, we're going to be here. If we want to add, we'll be here. So add, we'll just have the action is going to be equal to add. But here, the action shall be equal to edit. But not only that, we are going to need also... Um, we're going to need an ID for what we are editing. So ID will be equal to get ID. Now it's very possible that all these will not actually be... Okay, I think it doesn't actually... It's, it's possible that this will not be set. So we have to still put an if statement here. So first of all, I'm going to say... Um, Wait a minute. Data. ID is equal to, let's set it to a no. And then we ask the question, if is set data ID, then we set data ID to something else like that. Right, very good. Uh -huh. Now, when we are editing here, when we're doing the action to edit, we have to read from the database. And when we want to add, we don't need to read anything from the database, okay? And then also, once we do, um, once we do finish editing or adding, that's it, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Once we finish adding, we'll be back here with add. But then this time we'll check to see if something was posted like so. So I'll copy those and paste them there. So let's put a few comments here and say if something was posted. Let's be more specific. If a new row was posted. There we go. All right, so I think uh, we are getting somewhere here, though this is not what should work here. So I'm going to remove this. And then also I'm going to go back to settings and instead of socials here, it's going to be back to slider images. Like so. All righty then, uh, looking great. Uh -huh. So let's uh, go back here and see what happens when we are here. So, so far I don't expect anything to change. That's good. So add row takes us back here. And instead of showing this, I'm supposed to show a different view which contains adding of a row. So let's come back here. We are in slider images. And then here, all I have to do is ask the question, uh, PHP, Going to say if now remember that we created a variable called action here data action which will be set regardless what's going on uh, because we have it set to a default value where is that oh, oh. Uh, ooh. okay there we go sure mm -hmm. that's the default value so if 
so it will always be set that way we don't have to ask if it's set so uh, so if action is equal to show so if action is equal to show close that mm -hmm. that's when we show this so this is an if statement so we need another end if here so i'm going to punch that in move these two in there like so okay great but then let me duplicate that and put an else statement here put a full colon so this one is going to be an else if statement so i'll copy this put that there else if action is equal to add okay so then here i'm just going to say adding a new row okay so let's come back here and see if that actually worked okay so we have adding a new row there but if i click on slider images i'm back here and if i click on add a new row adding a new row all right so looking good in the next video we'll look at creating the actual interface of adding a new row i'll see you then